I tried to teach my friend Melee in five hours and then had him compete at a local to see how he did. Oh, and the local's in another country, because why not? Everyone says Melee is hard, but are they right? Well, obviously. But I want to show people that the barrier to entry isn't as high as you might think. That's why the goal of this challenge is to get my friend Tucker, a full-time working adult who spends a little bit too much time on the rift, to the point that he can play and have fun against an average tournament goer, understand what's going on, and see the fun that comes from improvement. We definitely don't expect him to win a set, but that doesn't mean we can't try. So first, we need a plan of action. The first step is to choose a character, and sure, some people have done research into the best character for newcomers. Some say it's best to try everyone and see who clicks. Well, fuck that, he's learning Sheik. Why? Well, I actually thought about it a lot. I think Sheik gives you the most melee experience without advanced tech, because, I mean, there's no shot we had the time to teach him anything close to wave dashing or L cancelling. However, Sheik's basic combos are very natural and intuitive. F tilt fair, down throw fair, dash tag up air or forward air are all things I believe Tucker could get his head around before the tournament. Another big plus of Sheik is that at the lower levels you aren't going to get comboed too hard, so he won't get stuck in a combo game simulator. Hopefully. I did contemplate characters like Jigglypuff and Marth, but I thought while Puff is good to pick up and learn, with just 5 hours, I see him holding forward and getting whacked away and dying at 50% without any DI. And Marth, I felt the F smash could become, well, Duh! over centralizing, as well as the recovery being a bit tricky of a concept that could end up wasting our time. So with the character decided, I hopped in a call with Tucker and just told him to hop right into a game with Sheik against a level 9 CPU so we could have a reference for what we're working with. It went about as well as you'd expect. Tucker has played Smash casually in the past, but there was still a lot of mashing and not really knowing what any of his moves did. But seeing this was good, as I knew I hadn't been wrong in my prep with step two, what to practice. These five hours are going to be spread out over the week. As I said, he's a full-time working adult, and I want to make this video work for just about anyone. Whenever people talk about melee, people are like, learn L cancelling, learn to wave dash, and while that's cool and all, some people don't even know how the moves work. And so, that's our first target. Explain how moves and directions work. Luckily, Tucker picked up the moves quickly, but just knowing is half the battle. We need to get it ingrained into his muscle memory. This is something I learned when I tried to pick up Guilty Gear. I realised that I was thinking about my basic slashes, punches and kicks during games and not remembering what button did what. And this caused me to mash, which is the enemy of any new fighting game player. Honestly, this is the main thing I wanted him to get down first. Luckily, we're doing this over one hour sessions, so we have plenty of time to let it sink in overnight. We honestly saw pretty quick improvements, and he got to grip with the moveset pretty quick, so I gave him one extra challenge. I wanted to see if he could learn to short hop. My logic for this is that if he could manage this, it would allow him to wall out opponents more effectively, as well as it being a simple one input tech to give the gratification of learning something new. But with that, there isn't much else I can do for him. With a tight schedule, he squeezed in as much as he could, and then we headed to Greece. For the reasons for that, check out my other video after you're done with this one. And so, with one day to go before the tournament, we got training. <laughs> During this last practice session, I was really impressed with Tucker's progress. He had really solid control of his character and was linking those moves together for simple combos I mentioned earlier. We had one main issue though. Every time Tucker grabbed with Sheik, he would always forward throw or up throw. And for some reason, this was just in his brain like a little parasite. And even when playing against characters I told him down throw was a guaranteed kill, it wasn't happening. So there was a lot of reminders for that. But he had also managed to get the hang of short hopping as well. Just as many of you know, Knowing how to do something and implementing it into your game are very different. So ideally tomorrow, we want to see some of both of those things. And so, came tournament day. The local was only 12 players, so I knew he would likely as a bottom seed have a strong first opponent. And unfortunately, it was a Falco player. A notorious noob crushing character due to those lasers. And so, that went... well. But we knew this would happen. Unfortunately, Falco just isn't fun to play against until you understand laser counterplay. However, his next opponent might be a bit easier. Unfortunately, it wasn't. 
It was a player by the tag of Barbarus, a lovely guy Tucker was playing friendlies with way before the local even started. So, unfortunately, we knew that this probably wasn't going to be winnable. However, Barbarus picked his Dr. Mario. Now, there's hope. Maybe Tucker can take one game. Down for a quarter! He did it! Oh. How's it going? Good, to be honest, that was way more fun. <laughs> Playing against the Falco. Hey, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I was happy with a couple of my moves, at least. Yeah, yeah, you had some of moves, yeah. Honestly, pretty press, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I remembered my down throw. Tucker barely just doesn't close out that third game. But he did say he had a lot of fun, and he was actually able to do the one thing we had hoped for. For the rest of the local, Tucker played friendlies with some other players who went 0-2, and was actually able to beat some of them who knew tech like wave dashing. But most importantly, afterwards I asked him if he had a good time, and if he enjoyed playing the game. And he said... Yes! He actually had a lot of fun, even when losing, as long as it wasn't against Falco. And he would also be willing to do even another video practicing for a month, so not only did we get someone with a passing interest in Smash into the game in a few hours, they had fun and even want to play more. He improved a hell of a lot in that short time and was even beating some of my secondaries by the end of the trip. So just goes to show that maybe this game might not be as intimidating as some people make it out to be. So if you're curious about trying Melee, just give it a shot. You don't have to do much and if you think it's your thing, you can always venture into the more advanced stuff when you feel comfortable. Just give it a chance.